Good morning and welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. The New Beginnings Church of the Big Bang. Amen. So happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome you to a church alive. Amen. Yeah. What you, a church alive, I told you, it is worth the drive. It's yeah. worth the walk. Amen. So yeah. praise Lord. God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bienvenidos a la iglesia al nuevo comienzo. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has great things for you. I'm excited. Amen. We're going to be talking about magnifying him. Magnifying the Lord. Oh, magnifying the Lord. Yeah. Amen. So we need to do this as believers. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Magnify him. Allow this word of God to bless you. Amen. Yeah. And change you. Don't come in and leave out the same way. Amen. Right. So we want to welcome all of you that are watching. All of you that are listening. And you, God has something special for you. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Amen and amen. So prepare yourselves right now, church. Amen. So grab your Bibles. And let's say it like we're in a church. Amen. Yes, Lord. This is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. So your spirit is receptive to receive what God has for us. Amen. Sometimes he wants to encourage us. Sometimes he wants to change us. Sometimes he wants to correct us. Amen. Amen. So Amen. don't be embarrassed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. You know, I have a little nugget here for you before we get started. Yes. Those of you that are watching you can see this. And I'm going to read it to so those of you that are listening. But it says, do not face. Do not face the enemy or each day until you have faced God in prayer. Amen. Until you go and Amen. spend time with him, you know? <laughs> it's a cruel world out there. Yeah. It's a mean world out there. Uh -huh. Amen. And you know what? What you need is you need to spend time with him. Yeah. Jesus did it, and we need to do it also. Yeah. Amen. We need to spend time with him. Lord, I need you. I can't do it without you. Yeah. You know, it's hell out there without him. <laughs> right. Amen. And you know, without him, you lose. Amen. And you want to be, you're a winner. He says, you're a winner. Amen. You're a champion. Amen. You can do all things through Christ. Amen. But you know what you need to do on a daily basis? Is you need to meet with him. Yeah. Amen. Before you meet the world yeah. and before you go against the enemy. You know, you go out there without your armor on, you, huh. and the enemy's going to have you. Yeah. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. So you need to prepare yourselves, you know. Yeah. And if you're not prepared, it's not his fault. It's our fault. He did his part, and we need to do our part, amen? Yes, yes, so we yes. need to prepare ourselves, amen? So praise God. Hallelujah. Magnify him. Amen. Uh, there we go. Magnify the Lord. Yes. Whew. You know, I don't want to get too, hard, too, too far ahead of myself, but you know when you magnify something, you make him big, okay? You make him big, just like... Uh, David, when he went against, went against Goliath, you know, mm -hmm. you want to magnify. You know, when you want to see <laughs> something big, you use a magnifying glass. You uh -huh. see some of these tools that we use. We need glasses to magnify things, you know, yes. make things bigger. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to re be reading some scripture for you. Go ahead. Amen. And here's another one. There's your magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be reading uh, Psalms. Uh, 34 and Psalm 69 in a few minutes. Yeah. Magnify the Lord. Amen. He's telling us what to do. And we need to be obedient to what he's telling us to do. Amen. Uh, Psalms uh, 34 and 3. Go to the next one. Psalms 34 and 3 says what? Oh, magnify the Lord. This is an awesome song. Too. Yes, it is. Well, Psalms is, it is Psalms. <laughs> oh, magnify the Lord with me yes. and let us exalt, exalt. praise his name together. Amen. As we come together, you know, magnify the Lord. Amen. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about me. I'm not going to talk about you, but you know, <laughs> you've been to the sporting events, you've been to the ball games, you've been to the bars, and you've been all these gatherings, you know, and I've seen people jumping, I've seen people shouting, I've seen people doing all kinds of things, all kinds of crazy things. And we come to church, and we can't magnify God. <laughs> God, He sent His Son and uh, crucified for us. Jesus gave His life for us, yes, he did. and we come to church and we can't say a word. Huh. You know, we just sit there like we're lifeless. Yes. <laughs> but all these other places we've been to, <clears throat> man, you put on a show. <laughs> say, wow, did you see? And the next day, you don't remember a thing. <laughs> so come on now. Amen. We got to magnify the right God. Amen. Hallelujah. We got the world. Amen. We got to magnify our God. Yes. Amen. 
Now you know a little bit about Esther, right? Amen. Go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Psalms uh, 69, 30 says what? I, 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 you put your name there. Scratch the I and just put your name there, okay? He says, I will praise the name of God with a song and will what? Magnify him with thanksgiving. You know, we've been talking about giving thanks. It's not just a... Uh, November thing, you know, about Thanksgiving, right, you know, right. but a daily basis. Thanksgiving Amen. is on a daily basis. Yes. Thank you, Lord. If if you get before Him, don't know what else to say. Just say thank you, thank you, yes. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Just say thank you. Yes. Amen. That means a lot, yes. you know. That means that means a whole lot. Praise God. <laughs> and the next one. Here we go. Psalms seventy and verse four says. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad. Sounds familiar. Yes. Amen. Sounds familiar. Rejoice and be glad in you and let those who love your salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Another song, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. You know, when you let God arise, when you, when you, when you serve him, his enemies are going to flee. Amen. The Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist the enemy, and he will flee. flee. Amen. But you let God arise. Amen. Yes. Don't hold him down. Don't put him down. You know, we talked about the spare tire, you know. Or we use it once in a while for emergencies. And we take it out in case of emergencies. Well, don't treat Jesus this way. Ah. Amen. Just don't take him out. Uh, well, you know, when things are bad, mm -hmm. when you have crisis, Corona's here. Oh, I, I, I need to bring him out. Ah. No, but all the time, all the time, yeah. amen, magnify him, exalt him. You're going to hear the word magnify a whole lot, so yeah. <laughs> prepare yourself. Lord, right. Amen. <laughs> Psalms 40, let me read it to you from the Amplified. It says, may all those who seek you as life's first priority rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation be continually, let God be magnified. And you know, we need to do this. Magnify him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Magnify him. Yeah. Of course, Psalms 118, uh, 118, 24 says, This is the name the Lord has made. I, 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 I again, put your name there. I will rejoice, or it says we. Some translation says we. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will read it this way. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice, magnify, exalt him, <laughs> and be glad in it. Amen. Praise God. You know, it don't take much. You know, once you get into the Word, you know, He, he opens, He opens up your eyes. Yes. He opens your spirit. You know, you can see in the spirit and start seeing things and start growing in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Start getting the Word of God in you. As believers, we are to magnify, praise, and give thanks to God daily. No, the November thing. You know, right. <laughs> on a daily basis, our image of God should be big and not small. Magnify. Him and not the problem. You know, huh, Corona right now, coronavirus is bigger than God right now. You know, that's all they're magnifying is coronavirus. You know, that's the biggest thing. Well, it shouldn't be that way. You know, you yourself, you know, be careful of the words you speak. You know, words are seeds, words are carriers. Yeah. And, it, and you give them life or you give them death. That's you right. make it positive or you make it, make, make it negative. Yes. But you are the one that's releasing this words, amen? So release positive things in your life, amen? amen. And when you release these things, make God big yes. and not small, amen. amen? You magnify God and not the problem, yes. and don't be ashamed. I got a couple of scriptures for us. Uh, in Mark, let's go to Mark 8, 28. Grab your Bibles, those of you that are watching and listening. We use the word of God, amen? Amen. amen. So praise God, some churches don't. But we do. And I'm reading from, uh, this is the King James. Mark 28 and 8. Excuse me, 8 and 8 and 28. <laughs> and he says, Jesus is talking about. And they said, uh, where am I? Let's make sure I got it right. I don't think I got that one right. No. Let's go to Luke. <laughs> That's all right. Luke what? Uh, Luke uh, 9.26. Luke 9.26. And these, it's, it's basically the same thing. Okay. 
but uh, and, and we know this. He says, "For whoever shall uh, be ashamed of me and my words of him shall the Son of God be ashamed, and he will uh, come in his own glory and his Father and of the holy angels." So you know what we we can't be ashamed. You know, he 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 made us to speak, and we need to speak the word of God. You know. Uh, so yeah. don't be don't be ashamed of him. You know when you get around people and they're talking negative and they're saying things mm -hmm. negative things, don't join them and get into that negative conversation. Right. Be positive. You know, yeah. just just sometimes you got to stand by yourself. But you know what? Greater is he that's in you than yeah. he that's in the world. Right. Uh -huh. He's greater. He's with you. Amen. So don't count yourself out and don't just try to please the world and try to please the crowd. You know, please God and say, you know what. Mm -hmm. You got something to say? Yeah, I got something to say. My God is bigger than coronavirus. My God is bigger. Oh, I just want to magnify our God. You guys are magnifying the world. I'm going to magnify my God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> so he said, okay, and then uh, Romans 1, 1 16. I'm going to have to find that one and correct myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 1 16 says what? For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jews first and then also to the Greek. Amen. Also to the Greek. So we're included. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. But don't be ashamed. That's all I wanted to say. Don't be ashamed. Did I have it on there? Go to, to the next one. This is uh, Psalms 1 8. It, there's different different scriptures in the Bible about this, but it says, I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. We read this, Psalms 91, and we've read it in our prayer services, you know. Psalms 91 is a good uh, good psalm to pray. Amen. Amen. But it says, this is, he is my, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. <coughs> Amen. And I'm going to magnify him. You know, as long as you're praying this, you're under his protection. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're under his protection. Just like a mother hen, a mother chicken gathers her, her wings out, you know, to cover little chicks, you know, cover up to protect them. That's what God does. You know, we're under that umbrella of protection. And he wants yes. to protect us. And uh, if you walk out of there, it's your choice. Amen. Because he wants you under his protection. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Uh, relationship with him and words will grow and magnify your image and faith will grow also you know when you study to show yourself approved you you know who god is and you get the word in you yeah. and your faith is going to grow and yeah. fear has got to go yeah. amen but you're going to magnify your god you know because you're growing and going for him amen so yeah. your image of him is going to grow we must continue to grow or mature spiritually Yes. If you don't know this, I'll tell you again. We fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. If you are out in the flesh, <laughs> if you try to fight the spiritual battle in the flesh, you're no match to the enemy. Right. Right. Amen. You're no match. So you got to get the word. You got. You have to get into the word mm -hmm. and get the word in you. Yes. And when you get the word in you, it'll come out. And you got to release it. Amen. Don't just keep it in. But he says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. That word is live. You know, when you yes. speak it, that word is alive. Amen. And it's going out. But you have to release it. Yes. And uh, the Bible says we can do all things through Christ. So don't see yourself low. Don't see yourself down. See yourself up. And be somebody for him. Because he's got you on this mission. Amen. Yes, amen. And he wants you to grow and go for him. Uh, praise God. So we must continue to grow and we must continue to magnify him. Magnify, I'm glad you asked, but it means to get great, to make great, bigger, enlarged, uh, muy grande. Amen. Yes. Mas grande is big, okay? Amen. Yes. You know, when you get your paycheck, <laughs> you're hoping, I want muy grande. <laughs> I want my paycheck to be mas grande. Amen. <laughs> But you know, your God, you know, this is what I wrote here. Because Goliath was no match to God. Goliath was no match to David. And you know what? Your giants, whatever giants you're facing, are no match to God. 
but you have to magnify him and not magnify your giants. Amen. Those giants are out there. And maybe you're going to face them on a daily basis. But you know what? When you encounter, have an encounter with God before you encounter the world, you can do all things. Amen. And you, that, those giants are no match to you. God is bigger than any mountain. God is bigger than any problem. God is bigger than any giants. Yeah. Any building coronavirus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Amen. So anything coming yeah. against you, yeah. God is bigger. Amen. Yeah. We, you know, we just have to exercise the word and put the word to use. Yeah. You know, when you get the word in you, you just got to release it and use it. Yeah. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you don't use it and lose it, you know what? You'll fall back and you'll be right back into the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you don't want to do that. Amen. So you want to be on fire for God. Stir yourself oh, up, you know, when yeah. you feel like <laughs> I ain't got it. Uh, well, you got to stir yourself up, yes. you know. Sometimes there's nobody around to stir you up except you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. You got to stir yourself up. Yes. <laughs> I used to do that in the world. <laughs> I stirred myself real good going through the world and do what I have to do. <laughs> but now we got to stir ourselves up for God. Amen. Amen. We serve a different God now. We yes. serve a risen Savior, Amen. Second yeah. Corinthians, keep going. Second Corinthians five seven says, "For we walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. We walk by faith and not by fear." Mm -hmm. Well, how do we walk by faith? We walk by faith by getting in the Word, magnifying God, Amen, and growing. Our faith grows and our fear has to go, yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We walk by faith and not by sight. Right. And not by fear. You know, yeah. right now there's too many people walking in fear. Mm. You know, and uh, we don't, we don't want to do that. As, as Christians, as believers, you know, we want to walk by faith because mm. we have the word in us. We have the greater one in us. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Keep going. Here we go. I wanted to show you this. This is awesome. Mm. Those of you that are viewing. But anyway, those of you that are just uh, listening by audio. It says, let your faith be bigger than your fear. Mm -hmm. And it's yes, jumping amen. from one side of the mountain to the other side. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> and we have a lot of great Bible heroes, you know. And sometimes we look at Bible heroes and say, well, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. They couldn't either. And they weren't uh, perfect because they sinned also. Mm -hmm. So God's not using perfect people. He's using available people. Yes, Are yes. you making yourself available? Because yes. he wants to use you. He don't have you here just to sit. That's right. He wants you to be busy doing for him. Amen. Amen. And hallelujah, we can do it. Amen. So let your faith be bigger than your fears. Yes. Of course, right now, everybody has bigger fears than they have faith. Mm. But you know, when you come into the scene, <laughs> you're that little shining light uh, that, that we talked about last week that we sang about last week let, you, let your shine, uh, light shine amen, amen. and this you be that light. light this little light of mine I'm going to let it shine let it shine you know because it's a dark world out there mm -hmm. and here you come and they see you coming mm -hmm. because they see the light they see Jesus <laughs> yes, amen yes. praise yes. God yes. Man, and you, you're glowing what, what is it with you well <laughs> Jesus my life, you know, I gave my life to Jesus. Be bigger than your fears, amen. Yes. Praise God. Praise. Praise Him is to give honor, to express adoration, and to give thanks. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some of the tools we need to uh, magnify, of course, uh, we talked about it a few minutes ago, but we use uh, magnifying glasses, we use uh, microscopes, telescopes, and some reading glasses. Yes. And mm -hmm. what this uh, tools help us is a special lens that brings the object closer, enlarges, and magnifies. Yes. yes. Amen. But in the spirit, we see our God magnified. Yes. And we are to magnify him. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. As believers, we're to magnify him. The lens through which the world views Jesus. Mm -hmm. Be his imitators. Yes. Amen. Let's go to Ephesians uh, 5, 1 and 2. Ooh. Hallelujah. Mm. This is awesome. So, yeah. and this is, uh, if you have, I don't know what translation you have, but I'm going to read it to you from the, um, from the uh, Amplified. Mm. 
the uh, the King James says, "Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, yeah. and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given Himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor." Yes. Amen. But the Amplified says this: "Therefore, as be imitators of God, copy." him and follow his example mm -hmm. you know so you know you don't have an excuse mm -hmm. you know <laughs> we gotta change amen and be yeah. his imitators be his, his imitate imitate him yeah. imitate god you don't you don't go around doing some of the things that we do putting people down and, and lifting ourselves up mm -hmm. that's not good you know whatever coming out of your mouth be careful mm -hmm. not, not to do those things because we're to imitate him. He says, watch your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. Amen. Watch your words and your actions. So it says, therefore be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his example. Mm -hmm. As well beloved children imitate their father. Mm -hmm. You know, I've told you this before, but he's our heavenly father. Yes. And we're his children. Yeah. You know, you don't have to go around calling yourself a sinner. You might sin, but you can confess it and repent. Amen. And, yeah. get, and, and, and uh, he'll forgive you. But he, we're his children. He says he's like like a father imitates. Uh, excuse me, as children imitate their father. Mm -hmm. And verse two says, "Walk in love, mm -hmm. esteeming and delighting in one another, as Christ loved us and gave Himself up for us, as a slain offering and sacrifice to God for you, so that it became a sweet fragrance." Amen. Yes, amen. So, whatever excuse you was using before. <laughs> Don't use it anymore. Amen. We're to be imitators. We're supposed to be Christ-like. Yes. Amen. And people are watching. Yes. We're to be his ministers of reconciliation. Amen. Let's go there again. Thank Corinthians 5 and 17. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Be ministers of reconciliation. Well, I'm not this. I'm not, I don't have this. I don't have that. <laughs> so and so says, I don't care. What does the Word of God says about you? You need to find out what the Word of God says says about mm -hmm. you. Amen. You find out, you know, it says, uh, well, you know, I wish I had instructions for all these things. You do. Yes. It's called the Bible. <laughs> so you go to the Bible and find out what the Bible says. Amen. Okay. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Here we go. Therefore, if any man be in Christ... Mm -hmm. He is what? A new creature. Old things are passed away. Mm -hmm. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let it go. It's gone. <laughs> yes. Behold, all things have become new. Yes. Okay? You're a new creature in Christ. I have a slide in a few minutes, but it shows a cocoon. Mm -hmm. Used to be a cocoon. Now you've got a beautiful butterfly coming out of there. Mm -hmm. The old is gone. Yes. The cocoon is gone. Yes. The new birth of a butterfly. Mm -hmm. That's you. The old is gone, the new is you. Amen. You're a new creature in Christ. That's what the word of God says. I've got it up there. There we go. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Has has gone. The old is gone, the new is here. Amen. Yes, amen. So you know what? <laughs> when the enemy, when people, friends, family come and tell you what you used to be, mm -hmm. you tell them, I used to. Mm -hmm. I don't live there no more. Uh -huh. Amen. Or when the devil comes and tells you about your past, he'll remind him of his future. Uh -huh. But you yeah. know what? When he comes and reminds you of things you used to do, you tell him, you know what? I gave him to God. Uh -huh. So you go talk to God. Mm -hmm. You think he's going to go? I don't think so. <laughs> 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 Praise God. 18. All things of, and all things are of God and has reconciled us to himself mm -hmm. by Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And has given us a new ministry of reconciliation. Yeah. So don't exclude yourself. You have a new ministry now. It's called reconciliation. Bringing yeah. people to Christ. Amen. Sharing the word of God with people out there. Yeah. Amen. So but you got to get the word of God in you. So that you can release it. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, you can do this. Don't say you can't. Because he says you can do all things yeah. through Christ. Amen. Yeah. Well praise God. Uh, verse 19 says. To wit, that God 
was in uh, Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their uh, trespasses unto them, uh -huh. and hath committed unto us the word, the word of reconciliation. Amen? Amen. And verse 20 says, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though Christ did beseech you by us, mm -hmm. we pray you in Christ, instead be ye reconciled to God. So now, not only are you a minister of reconciliation, now you're an ambassador for Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're his mouthpiece on earth. Mm -hmm. He's the head, we're the body. Amen. <laughs> and who, who the head's going to use the body. We are yeah. the body, or if you never heard before, we are the body of Christ. Amen. We are the church of God. Yes. Amen. So, this, this place we meet at, assemble ourselves together, is not <clears throat> the church of God. That's it. This is just the place. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are in the church. Wherever yeah, you go, yeah, wherever yeah. you go, wherever you go, you know, God has a special place for you. Uh -huh. So, you know, when you leave these four walls, you bring, you're the church and you go minister wherever you go. You're minister of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Don't exclude yourself. Know who you are and stand strong for him and magnify your God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 20 says, verse 20 says, for he has made him to be sin uh, for us uh -huh. who knew no sin that he might be made the righteousness of God in him. Right. Amen. So he sacrificed right. his own son. Yeah. Amen. So we could have salvation. And we have salvation, you know. <laughs> also, people don't know salvation is a free gift. Free. All you have to do is receive it. Yeah. Confess him as the Lord and Savior. Amen. Yeah. 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 Confess him as your Lord and Savior and he's not going to turn you down. Right. Say, Lord, I have done wrong, you know. <laughs> I've sinned against you. I repent. Turn my life through my Lord and Savior. And guess what? He's going to come in. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be your Lord and Savior. Now, yeah. old thing is gone. Now, start living a new life. Yeah. Amen. Get you a Bible. Go to a church, you know, where you can uh, study the Word and be encouraged. Mm -hmm. Amen. And be dis discipled. <laughs> amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Lord. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Woo. Praise God. Amen. Good preaching. Uh, thank you. Uh, Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, be an ambassador. Be his mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. See yourself. Listen to this. Mm. Write this down. Okay. You are the only Bible some people <laughs> will ever see, yeah. open, or read. Amen. You are the only Bible. Uh -huh. You are the image of Christ on earth. Amen. You are going and some people will never open a Bible, or may never have a Bible, but they'll see you. Yeah. And they'll see you, and they'll open and read mm -hmm. what you have to say. Mm -hmm. Amen? So be careful of your words and your actions. Amen? Yeah. So praise God. You'll write that down. Amen? Mm -hmm. You just don't want... <laughs> the devil's not afraid of this book here. No. Mm -hmm. Amen? He's afraid of how much of this book yes. you've got in you right. and how much of this word is going to come out of you. Yes, yes. That's what he's afraid of, you know, because when you use the word, you're using your authority. Mm -hmm. God has given you authority. He's a, he's a defeated foe. Yes, but he's yes. not going to go unless you use the word of God. Ah, right. Amen. Submit yourself to God. Resist him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he'll go. He'll flee. He'll flee. He'll go. Amen. But you have to use that authority that's been given to you. Yes. So you are the only Bible some will ever mm -hmm. see, open, or read. Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Man, you have an opportunity. You might be in a plane, <laughs> and you got a lot of sinners in there. <laughs> It'll be time to <laughs> preach a good word. <laughs> going down, huh? Amen? They see you. Mm -hmm. Some people are jealous mm -hmm. because they want to be like you, but they don't want to let go of the world. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. They don't want to let go of habits. They don't want to let go of things. Mm -hmm. And they're going to talk about you. No. And they're watching you. And they're watching your words and your actions. And they ain't going to say anything mm -hmm. until you trip. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to say, I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Remember, mm -hmm. there's no perfect Christian. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we can do all things through Christ. Yes. And we confess those sins. Amen. Magnify Him. Praise Him. Enlarge your image of God, of Christ. Amen. Amen. We always magnify the world and the problem and cares over him. Don't do that anymore. Amen. Don't join the crowd because they're magnifying coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Or they're magnifying whatever they 
facing, you know. Yeah. Say, wait a minute, I got I got an answer for all this. His name is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And invite him, you know, or lead him in a prayer. Yeah. Don't say, Wow, you know, if Pastor was here, or if sister so and so mm -hmm. she's a prayer, she's she she's a well I mean she can pray. <laughs> what about you? God knows, you know. Yeah. Just just yeah. a simple prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pray the whole Bible, you just Simple prayer. Amen. Magnify him and not the problem, not the care. Amen. Hallelujah. First John 4 and 4 says this. You are of God. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, including coronavirus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's it. He who is in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, um, they used to go to a temple worship God. Amen. But now, since Jesus died and rose and is in heaven interceding for us, mm -hmm. since we are, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this is the temple. So he says, wherever you go, I go. Mm -hmm. He is in me. He's with yes. me. Amen. So yes. praise God. So don't be saying, well, you know, I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. I can't do this. No. He is with you. Yeah. Amen. He is with you wherever you go. He is greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Problem arises when we stop magnifying him. Mm -hmm. You know, when things are going smooth and great, you know, and say, well, I'm going to take a break, God. I'll, mm -hmm. see you. I'll catch you later. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to catch him later or you're going to catch everything else that's coming at you. you know? Right. Because the world's going to come at you mm -hmm. strong. Yeah. Amen. And you're no match to the world. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's going to come. But when you know the truth, you know, it's going to set you free. Yes. You know yeah. who's backing you. You know yeah. who you are. And you're not moved. And you'll stand. Ephesians 6, uh, 13 and 14 says this. Therefore, take up your whole armor of God that you may be able to stand, uh -huh. withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, do what? Stand. Verse 14. Stand, therefore, having girded gird your waist. With truth, have yeah. put on the breastplate of righteousness. Uh -huh. It's a whole thing. It just goes from yeah. chapter uh, 6, verses 12, yes. 10 through 18. Uh -huh. Amen. But it says, have deep roots. Yes. Keep going, Carmen. Mm -hmm. Deep roots. Oh, this is just part of uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, 17 and 18. That's okay. Go ahead. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. Oh. The storms of life will come. Yeah. Everybody has storms in life. Oh, yeah. You see the wind yeah. hitting this tree. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. So those of you that are listening, uh -huh. there's, a, there's a tree and the wind is blowing and it's moving. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to move towards the uh, direction the wind's going. But you see the foundation on the bottom? Yes. It's got roots. Yes. And the roots spell what? Right. Christ. Wow. <laughs> you got a good foundation. You got roots deep inside. Yes. Amen. Yes. In the ground. You are, you, whew, hallelujah, you've got some roots. So you know yes. what? <laughs> Our responsibility is to get those roots. You know how you grow your roots? Is you got to study. Mm -hmm. you got to spend time. you got to have a relationship. Yes. Right. Amen. Have a relationship with him, you know. Right. Spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Spend time in the, in the word and get that word in you. Well, I, you know, I could never get this whole book in me. How do I do it? <laughs> what, one, what, 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 one verse at a time. One, 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 one verse at a time. But you know, you take time. Amen? And just, <laughs> and it, it'll happen. Do I know what we're talking about back here? What? The branches spell faith. Well, yeah. <laughs> the, the branches spell faith. And on the bottom, the roots spell Christ. Uh, Christ. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Have deep roots, deep foundation in Him. Yes. And you know what? Let me, let me, let me, let me say this. David had deep roots. Uh -huh. yes. He says when, when he went up to meet his brothers, when oh, he went up to, to, to where the army of, of God was, the Israel, Israel the army was, they weren't even talking about God. They were right. talking fear. They were talking about magnifying the giant mm -hmm. across the way there. Mm -hmm. Until David showed up. Yeah. And he knew who he was in Christ. And he knew who his was, he was. As soon as David arrived, they started talking about uh, God mm -hmm. and you know <laughs> I've said this a couple of Sundays before but 
I just want you to know that before David became king of Israel, he was a little shepherd boy. Yes. And the man of God that came, God told the man of God, go to Jesse's house, and the next king of Israel is going to come from the house of Jesse. <laughs> and he just paraded all his seven sons right there, you know. And the God says, no. And the little shepherd came and walked by. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God said, that's him. Yeah. That's you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whoever you are, mm -hmm. God's talking to you. Amen. Yes. Wherever you are, you're listening, you're hallelujah. watching. God's talking to you. Yeah. God chose you. Amen. Yeah. He didn't choose somebody else. He chose you. you that special person. you that little David. Mm -hmm. You know, all them others walked by and said, no, no, no. He says, I have called you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you get yourself back to God and get with God. Amen. Yes, thank get yourself you. right with God. David, the two spies, you know, there was 12 spies. <laughs> ten, of, ten of them came back with a uh, bad report. Two of them came back with positive reports. He said, we can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. We can do it. Amen. You know, the other ten says, well, we, we, we're like grasshoppers among the same. The other two says, we saw them as grasshoppers. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, your attitude means a whole lot. Yes, sir. Two things you got to change before you go anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you have a flat tire, you got to change it before you go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And also, you got to change your attitude before you go anywhere. Attitude, yeah. You change those two things, mm -hmm. and you can go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So, three Hebrew children, mm -hmm. they stood. They stand, stood firm. They stood in faith. Amen. Daniel, same thing. Mm -hmm. Don't you can't you can't pray. You can't you can't worship your God. Mm -hmm. He's, he stood his ground. Amen. Mm -hmm. Stephen, you know I, I mentioned Stephen because the Bible says Jesus went to heaven and is seated at the right hand of authority, mm -hmm. at the right hand of God, mm -hmm. interceding for us. When Stephen, the man of God, was stoned because of what he did, worship his God, magnify his God, when he was stoned, the Bible says, Jesus stood yes. to receive him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Once again, this could be one of you, amen? Mm -hmm. Any of you. God is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes, how special you are to him, amen? That's how special you are to him. So know that. You know, don't put yourself down. Lift yourself. Mm -hmm. See yourself the way he sees you. He yeah. sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Only place in the Bible Jesus stands. They were committed and they stepped out in faith. Mm -hmm. So can we. Yes. yes. Amen. You can walk out in faith. But you know what? Build yourself. Don't go anywhere before you have an encounter with him. On a daily basis, you know, before you go out in the world, before you go out, see the, the enemy, have an encounter with God first, amen. Build yourself yeah. up. You know, Peter was, saw Jesus coming, walking, and, Je and Peter says, Follow oh, Jesus, that's you, Lord. And he said, I want to come. He says, Come. This is what he tells you on a daily basis come, join me. I said, Well, I, I can't walk on water. Well, you can have what you say. Mm -hmm. All Jesus says to Peter was, Come. And, and he stood. He, he, he walked on the water. So we can do all things through him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. And uh, Thank you, Lord. I'm going to close with this for you. Let's go to Matthew 6.33. <laughs> Excuse me, but uh, he touches me too. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I see where I used to be. And some of you need to change. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Matthew 6.33 says what? But seek first what? The kingdom of God is righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen? And his righteousness in all these things. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I wrote it this way. Magnify him and seek him first. Mm -hmm. Amen. Always. Magnify him. Seek him first. Make him first priority in your life. Amen. Amen. Seek him first. 
magnify him. Get your priorities in order. Reverse the curse. Yes. You know, Amen. don't go around saying, well, you know, we have this and we have that, you know, because it's always been in our family and in granny, granny and whatever. Mm. Mom had it and dad had it and now I got it. Well, you can have what you say. Yeah. Or yeah. you can just say, reverse this curse mm -hmm. and start confessing the word of God. Speak faith filled words. Yes. Speak the word. Amen. Amen. Build your faith roots and not your fear roots. Yes. Come on now. You can write that down. <laughs> Build your faith roots and not your yes. fear roots. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because you can do that real easy. And you know it's so easy for us to do that. Just speak the negative mm -hmm. and confess the negative and go into the world and hear all these things. Oh man, I never heard about that. I, I can I can say those things. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to be careful because what are you confessing? You're confessing the wrong thing. Yeah. I'm not receiving that. I'm not, right. I'm not doing that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Listen to this. Frame your life. Frame. You know, a carpenter frames before he sets a, a house up. He frames the foundation. He frames the house before he builds it. Frame your life with life mm -hmm. and not death. Mm -hmm. Frame your life with fear. I mean, with faith and not fear. Yes, amen. To frame your, your, your life with positive and not negative. Now, all this can change. Yes. All these you can change. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Magnify him over everything and don't be ashamed. Church, we got to get the right image of God and continue to magnify him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be his imitator. Have relationship and study to show ourselves approved. Well, I can't close unless I do this now. Where those of you that are watching have a privilege of seeing this, but these are my Jesus glasses, and it says Jesus glasses. <laughs> these are my spiritual magnifying glasses, my Jesus glasses. <laughs> Don't leave home without them, yeah, because you know, when you have your Jesus glasses on, you're going to see people with love and compassion. Yes. Yes. You're not going to feel sorry. You're not going to talk down to them, you know. You're going to be imitators of Christ. Yes, amen. I got my Jesus glasses on. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you have to, just have some glasses <laughs> and put them on or just pretend like you got them on. But you know, <laughs> build yourself up. When you build yourself up, you don't have to pretend. Do it for real. Let that love and compassion of Christ rise in you. Amen. amen. And it's going to show with your words and your actions. Yes, thank you. You all wish you had some, huh? <laughs> we must look at him through these or people or, or him through these spiritual magnifying glasses mm -hmm. and stay focused despite of what's happening around us coronavirus is no match Amen. nothing nothing is no match for God, my God Amen. Amen. And the, and your image of God is greater and bigger mm -hmm. and more magnifying than the problem Amen. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with what? Oh, all your Lord. heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him. Magnify Him, mm -hmm. and He will make your path straight. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Magnifying Him by casting all cares on Him. Mm -hmm. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Give all your cares, all your worries, all your problems to mm -hmm. God, because He cares about you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to magnify Him, you know? Those things that are weighing you down, <laughs> just let them go. Cast them on him. Yeah. And then say, thank you, Lord. I'm magnifying my God, you know, because he told me to cast all this on him. Amen. So praise you, God. Thank Amen. you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise, praise God. God. So I want to close with that. Amen. And uh, just know <laughs> that uh, we are to uh, magnify the Lord. Amen. Amen. He deserves our highest praise. Yes, Amen. Yes. Glory, 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 glory. Stay focused on Him. Read your word and refocus. Pray yes. and refocus. Praise and worship and refocus. Always put the Lord uh, magnified in your life. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you out there, <laughs> you know what I've been hearing, hearing about coronavirus is <laughs> the end is coming, <laughs> yeah. the end is here. Well, on a daily basis, we keep ourselves prepared. Yeah. So if he does come, we're ready. 
Amen. But if you've never made Jesus your Lord and Savior, now's the time. You know? That's right. All you have That's to do right. is confess Him. Say, Lord, I've yes. sinned. I've come short. Yes. And I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. He's not going to turn you down. You know, just co just confess that. Say it with your mouth. He's just going to. If you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, He's going to. He's going to come and He's going to be your Lord and Savior. Receive Him now as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And we believe that he will. And yes. so you start being that new creature in Christ. Yes. Start reading your Bible. Get your Bible. Read your Bible. Yes. You know, dust it off and start reading it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, find your church where you can go to once uh, they open up. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Thank Lord, I pray for all those that are listening, all those that are watching, yes. Lord. If you have some kind of sickness in your body. Yes. Amen. Father, I just pray. The Bible says, by Jesus' stripes, they were healed. Yes. So we are healed. So, Father, I just thank you. Just touch that part of your body. Yes. Amen. That might be aching. That might be hurting. Father, I thank you that by Jesus' stripes, they're healed, Father. Yes. Whatever the enemies uh, meant for, for wrong, Father, we correct it. You yes. Make that balance right, Father God. And we just thank you that they are healed right now, Father God. In Jesus' name. It's not about me is about his word going yes, down amen. and body you line up with the word of God and be healed receive it all you have to say is I receive my healing mm -hmm. amen praise God thank you father glory amen well we want to thank you and uh, offering uh, time or giving time <laughs> uh, those of you that are watching or listening and would like to give your, your tithes or offerings you can see on the screen uh, we thank you for helping us during this time and uh, uh, you can go to our website, nbcbigbang.com, or if you uh, press the donate button there, or you can mail it to uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Mm -hmm. Amen. Once again, we want to say thank you. Amen. And God bless Amen. you. Amen. And continue to magnify Him. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Amen.